Well, it's still not done, but it's certainly a lot more done than it has been in quite a while. Uh, so this is my VGBot 330. Uh, so it started off as a Tronxy X5 SA, um, and I've slowly been upgrading it and changing out parts and migrating it over um, to complete its build as a VZBot. Uh, so it's printing a couple mounting pieces in ASA for the uh, touchscreen controller. Uh, so that'll mount on the front um, and it'll be pretty complete. Um, and I have to say, uh, so far I've printed most of my ASA in sort of a makeshift enclosure, um, you know, styrofoam around, uh, uh, just around the printer. And this is the first time printing in something that's definitely more enclosed. You can see there's still still a few little gaps and a few holes to plug at the back with the uh, filter and a couple things that need to be done. Um, but I can already tell the print quality that's coming coming out of the ASA parts is way better. Um, so certainly having the the actual enclosure is is really helping out. Uh, so I can see where I might reprint a few of the original parts that I printed on my uh, CR10 way back when I started this whole endeavor. Um, I might reprint some of those just to, to bring the quality up a little bit. Um, lots of learning and, and whatnot, printing with, with ASA versus like PLA. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, I really enjoy the build. I've got uh, uh, Auto Z, so basically the printer on its start will touch off the probe uh, the Z probe in the back there, right there. Uh, so the nozzle will touch off there. It'll grab the clicky probe from the front of the printer and do a little nozzle wipe and purge right there um, before it starts printing. Uh, so it's kind of, it's pretty cool to see that it just automatically will do that. Um, and I've had really good luck uh, shy of a couple times where there's been filament stuck on the nozzle so I've been updating my macros uh, to kind of uh, account for that to clean the nozzle before it calibrates the the Z position um, but yeah overall I've been having great first layer uh, with the auto Z uh, tool so that's great in clipper um, and I've got one one little wire for that probe that I need to clean up um, and then like I said the the filter in the back and I also cut holes for the CPAP mod, um, but I don't have those parts yet. So that will be a later endeavor. So I might just put a plug over those for right now um, to keep the heat in. Uh, but right now it's doing a great job. I do plan to add a little bit of uh, weather stripping around the edges um, here and there just to plug a couple of the gaps. but. Overall, like I said, it's keeping the heat in and making the uh, the higher temp prints uh, look really good. And uh, I'll have to try some PLA again here uh, and just see, I know that enclosed PLA sometimes does some funny things. Uh, so I'll probably have to retune my PLA profile or you know keep the door open or whatnot. But yeah, just wanna do a quick video and uh, show off the printer as it sits now.